Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Happy New Year. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, January the 1st, and today we celebrate the naming of the child Jesus. The scripture for this service, Psalm 103, Genesis chapter 17, verse 1 to 12, and 15 to 16, and a canticle from Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 to 11. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Alleluia, Psalm 103. Alleluia, bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Bless the Most High, my soul, and do not forget God's blessings. Who forgives all my iniquities, who heals all my diseases, who redeems my life from destruction, who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies my hunger with good things, so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. And you, my God, execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses, your acts to the children of Israel. You are loving and gracious, slow to anger and full of mercy. You will not always chide, nor will you be angry forever. You have not dealt with us as we deserve, nor rewarded us according to our iniquity. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is your mercy toward those who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. Like parents who take pity upon their children, so you love them that fear you. For you know of what we are made, and remember that we are dust. As for the children of the earth, their days are like grass. As the flowers of the field, so they flourish. And then the wind passes over and they are gone, and that place will know them no more. But your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting upon them who fear you, and your righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep your covenant and to those that remember to do your commandments. You have prepared your throne in the heavens, and your kingdom rules over all. Bless the Most High, all you angels that excel in strength, that do God's commandments, listening to God's word. Bless the Most High, all God's hosts, you ministers of God that do God's pleasure. Bless the Most High, all God's works, in all places of God's dominion. Bless the Most High, thy soul. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Genesis, chapter 17, beginning at verse 1. The background noise you hear is rain on the roof. When Abram was 90 years old, Yahweh appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you 
and will make you exceedingly numerous. And Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come to you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your offspring after you throughout their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give to you and to your offspring after you <clears throat> the land where you are now an alien, all the land of Canaan for a perpetual holding, and I will be their God. God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring. This is my covenant, which you shall keep between me and you and your offspring after you. Every male among you shall be circumcised. You shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. Throughout your generations, every male among you shall be circumcised when he is eight days old. God said to Abraham, As for Sari, your wife, you shall not call her Sari, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and she shall give rise to nations. Kings of peoples shall come from her. And then Abraham fell on his face. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. In peace we pray for all people in their daily life and work, our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone, for the Mercy of God community and the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. For this community, this nation, and the whole world, and for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and the proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For peace in Jerusalem and unity in the church, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, for all who serve God in his church. We exalt you, O Christ, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. And O God, let your loving kindness be upon those who put their trust in you. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, praise to our Savior Jesus Christ. Alleluia, a canonical from the letter to the Philippians. Alleluia, praise to our Savior Jesus Christ, who being in the form of God did not deem equality with God, but emptied himself and took the form of a servant and was made in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. 
Therefore God has highly exalted him, and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ reigns supreme to the glory of God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise to our Savior, Jesus Christ. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Merry Christmas. <laughs> 